All right, so what we're going to do is yet again look at another system by using the Gauss-Jordan method, the matrix method. And we're just going to go right to it. So we have the system here with X and Y. So I'm going to convert it to a matrix. Okay, so first things first, and again, I could make that first, that upper left-hand corner, a 1 in various ways. I'm just going to leave it as a 2 because it doesn't hurt anything. So my goal is to make this for a zero. And again, thinking about elimination, the way I do that is I'm going to take two times the first row. I'm going to take negative two times the first row, and I'm going to add it to the second row. And I'm going to make it into a new second row. And that's because that's the row that needs to be fixed right now. So I have two. I'm sorry, not two. So if I take negative two times the first row, I have negative four, positive six, and I'm going to draw the line. And negative 2 times 16 is negative 32. And I'm going to add that to 4, negative 6, and 11. And already you're kind of looking at this thinking, oh my, things happen. So if I add the numbers together, those are zeros. And that's a negative 23. So very strange things happening here. So I still have the first row, which is 2, negative 3, and 16. And I have 0, 0, negative 23. Now, at that point, we can stop because now we look at this and we say, it's impossible to get what I need here. Remember, the second row needs to be a zero followed by a one followed by a number. And there's no way to make a number out of a zero. It's just not going to happen. So let's just think back to what this means as a regular equation. So if I have 2x minus 3y equals 16, on the second equation or second row, I'm going to have 0x plus 0y, which is just zero equals negative 23. Now, if you got this before, that would tell you that there's no solution to the system. And that is the same thing here. So this, having this kind of a row happen where you have zeros on one side of the augment and another number on the other side of the augment, this would tell you that there is no solution to the system. And that's basically it. So main idea was just to make that connection between what happens in the matrix and what happens in reality when we um, solve a system of equations. Zeros on one side, number on the other, no solution. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.